You know, I just found out that over on Linkara's 500th episode, he is dealing with an alternate bad future where Brother Eye has taken over the world and YouTube videos can't get uploaded unless they do something and all that. I want that future right now. Because then, that would mean I no longer would have to sit through this fic. But unfortunately, I do. And unfortunately, you do too, because you clicked on that video! <laughs> I am your god now! <laughs> Chapter 8. Friends and Enemies Return. Oh good, I do hope that uh, we have Tails, the Freedom Fires, and absolutely nobody with the name that starts with the letter A. Tailfire's laser cannons at the end prawns that were attacking Knuckles and Tails on the ground, and some of them reattacked them in the air. Man, this like when you need them. Could somebody also please explain how I work in the turns of the Sonic, uni Sonic Underground Universe? <laughs> I will tell you that if you could tell me how I work in the turns of the Sonic uh, Underground Universe. Give up. You know you can't win since Sonic is not here. Eggman said laughing. Now make it easy and hand over the Chaos Emeralds and the Master Emerald. Unless you're Dr. Robotnik from Satam or Eggman from Sonic Forces, I don't see why anybody should be afraid of you. How many times do we have to Teddy? We don't know where they are! Knuckles said, punching away an egg prawn. Enough of this fooling around. Hand them over or I'll blow you to smithereens! Eggman said. I know I should normally say Ro Robotnik at a time like this, but you gotta understand, um, in the games, um, I only see him as Eggman. I don't see him as the badass from Satam, so my apologies. Doctor. Eggman turned and saw his creation metal sign flying up to him. The Akinda's telling the truth. My scares do not detect the Chaos Emeralds anywhere on Mobius, or only the Master Emerald. Oh well, well, I still have the Master Emerald. Toodles! Yike! What? That's true, then where are they? Before Mel could answer, Tails fires lasers and a cockpit hit Eggman's ship. <laughs> How dare you, little pet! You should really learn not to capitalize random letters. The cannon saying to the X tornado. Now Sonic X? Thick! Before you start throwing in random universes together in that little blender of yours and wanting to hit Frappe, think about how it works! Alright, it's not even that you're trying for a multiverse crossover. I don't mind that. I don't mind you trying to mix different elements from the different universes. I don't mind that. But if you're going to launch me head first into a freaking story where suddenly Sonic X, Underground, and who knows, whatever the hell else you want to throw in because you want to... You have to explain it. You have to give some of my reasons. You have to think this through. You have to think of how these things can mix. For example, why are there a whole bunch of mutated creatures in the Sonic Underground universe, but not in the Sonic X universe? Second, why does Sonic feel so unnatural within the Sonic X human world, but there are humans within the Sonic TNT in the Sonic 06 world? We need cohesion. Otherwise, you're just making me ask too many questions when I should be reading a story. <sighs> Even at my worst, back when I was a kid, I actually took the time to explain things and actually worked hard. I want to see effort. The cannons fired to the X-ray on my market. Ugh! Amy had thrown several of her hammers at Eggman's ship. I only thought she only had one, leaving out several hammers inside the x interior. You leave, you leave Tails alone, and you know where Sonic is. You better spit it out. Amy sighed, summoning another hammer. I have no idea where her boyfriend is. She's not his boyfriend! Amy is 12 freaking years old! Sonic is 12! There, Sonic is 14! There's a huge age gap! If you are going to have Amy be boyfriend to Sonic, you are going for pedophilia! Stop trying to set these two! But, let me guess. 
since this is a fanfic where Sonic is sent with somebody else, you guys are going to demonize Amy. I don't know what's worse. The ship? Or demonizing Amy to make a ship that I hate even more try to work? I'm stuck here! Metal flew out the main deck and towards Angel Island where Amy was. Please tell me he kills her. He charged at Amy, but received a hammer in the face. Vettel was flung near to Master Emerald. He slowly got up and looked at it, defelting Master Emerald Airs and gave it all to some signal to another dimension. Yo, Doctor! I think I know where it's like and the Chaos Emeralds are. Vettel said to his mic. Where? He asked, getting impatient. Who asked? Metal? He's the one searching the energy. Oh, Robotnik, you just decided to throw in a random pronoun. I attempted to download to send you to coordinates now. You stay away from the Masa Emerald Ten Head, Knuckles said, guarding his birthright. Out of my way, Akinda. I don't want the Emerald right now. I mean, granted, the Master Emerald's more powerful than the Seven Chaos Emeralds combined, but hey, what can I say? I want the coordinates it sent to Chaos Emeralds to the other three entities, too. Who... Who's speaking? I is it Metal? Is it Robotnik? I guess it's Metal, because that's the next link, but that line sounds more like it's Robotnik. Do you even care about character voices in this fic? Pull Knuckles away and starts getting the Master Emerald. Like the fic does said. 45, 61, 79. Let Knuckles go, you Captain Mel. Fine, I'll let him go. Mel didn't turn, but through Knuckles air. 99%. Scan complete. City coordinates now, Master. Mel said, sending the coordinates down to the 8 carrier. Whoa, wait. That was just something we're fighting? But... You didn't even. You didn't even describe that it was the egg carrier. You just said his ship. How were we supposed to know it was his ship? Thick. Please put in descriptions. Explain stuff. It'll make your story flow so much easier. Good. Now activate the egg drive. Locking onto the coordinates of the dimensional fire portal of fire. Eggman said. The egg carrier fired a rainbow-colored beam. Rainbows, darling. Rainbows. Portal opens and the rip's face sign continue. <laughs> so long, rodents! Hey! Echidnas are mammals. Eggman shouted, I'll give you regards to Sonic personally. Sonic? Amy said, Tails, lock your car inside right now! Amy shouted to her calm like, Watcha! Tails said to the speaker, like I didn't know that already. He read the coordinates and watched the dimension. Missile portal's like, Done? Get on, guys! Well, you need to call the muscle end of Tails. Why? Just... Why? My god, as many times as that emerald left about Angel Island, I'm half to expect- I'm surprised that Angel Island has that managed to stay up this long! Silver and Sonic and Shadow were outside of Sweet Apple Acres training. The girls were watching them from a good distance, not wanting to get in their way. Um, uh, girls, are you sure you don't want to be training with them? Practicing? I mean, Dash, you're a fighter too, and so is Applejack. You two could be sparring. You two could be learning. Leia, where does enjoy the view? Enjoy the view? Enjoy the view! <laughs> the guys were wearing their undersuits due to Sweet Apple Acres being in the hot sun. Playing! Playing with the boys! Sonic and Shadow squared off against Silver, who needed training with hand-to-hand -hand combat. Sonic Lunt runs for it, and... don't really care about this fight scene! I mean, seriously. It's basically Silver and Shadow Sonic just saying all day how awesome and cool they are when it comes to the fight, because they're fighting. It's just them bragging about how cool they are. And what are the girls doing? Just watching. Just sitting back. Not doing anything. Because that's what I wanted to see in this fanfic, right? Is Sonic... Is does Sonic Shadow and Silver training? I mean, it's not like I came to a pony fanfic site 
looked up a pony fanfic and wanted to watch the ponies interact with the hedgehogs. Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't want that. No, no, no. I just wanted to sit back, relax, and watch the Sonic Shadow and Go Silver proceed to train and train and say how, tell me how cool they are. Because I don't want to see it. I just want them to train and just watch them fight and rainbow and... Rarity, all the swoon and drool over the guy's muscles. You know, if I wanted to do that, I'd be reading one of my own pieces of shit. And so they, after a hard workout, they proceed to teleport back into the gut, uh, back to Lois and Aloe because a Brownie's determination to put in every single character within a fanfic does not just stop on uh, in the normal pony verse. No, no, we gotta do that in Equestria Girls too. And the boys proceed to get dressed in their bathing suits, and everybody's all se se sexy, and of course, everybody's drooling, and everybody's gasping, and going, oh my god, hubba hubba. And Lotus then proceeds to, out of nowhere, will try to hit on Sonic. Because, you know, that's what normal masseuses do. They actually go in, see your sexy fine ass, and proceed to massage you, and then hit on you as you lay there prone. I would say that's what they normally do, but I'd be wrong. Actually, that's something I wish they would do to me, but no, my all my masseuse never does is just proceed to massage my body very nicely. I never get one to hit on me randomly. So Sonic, tell us a little more about our, your world, Rarity said, nuzzling against Spike. Well, I'm not about to give in to this fanfic desire to try to pair off Rarity with Silver. Well, Mobius is a peaceful world where me and everybody lives together in peace and harmony. That is until Eggman shows up. He tries to enslave everyone we know and build something called the Eggman Land Project. However, me and my friends always put a stop to the evil plots over and over again. How long have you been fighting him? Since 1992! I first fought him when I was a young hedgehog. And you're not young now! I had my siblings, Maniac and so Sonya, help me fight against Eggman when I met him at a bar. Wait, you three of us separated? Yeah, Mom kind of did for the good of Mobotropolis and our safety, but we each found each other to the power of music. Music? Oh my god, even Piggy's not believing this crap! Yet when me and my siblings were born, Mother gave me special medallions, they had the power to turn into instruments, which could also use as a weapon. And... That's why you're good with a guitar? Maybe. Even though I wear it a lot now, I always keep it with me, because I still miss my mom and siblings. Will we leave? Can you show us? Sir. Wait. So, wait, where did he put the medallion then? Is it his uniform? Wait, time out. Um, again, people, this is why mixing these multiple continuities and these multiple universes just doesn't work. It just doesn't add up. If Robotnik is trying to is only now trying to do his Eggman line project, then why did Queen Alina separate Sonic, so Manic, and Sonya to begin with? For the good of Mobotropolis? No, that's not how it worked at Sonic Underground. Sonic and his siblings were separated because the Great Prophecy told them, told Queen Alina, do it so that way you could form a Council of Four so you could take down Robotnik in the future. That only then were they allowed to come back together, and over time, it took a while before Queen Alina could actually rejoin with her children. That was the main focus of the plot of the story in general. But by saying that Robotnik was just a mad guy who just wanted to try to take over the world just for his Eggman line project, you take away the reason why Queen Alina needed to separate the Hedgehogs in the first place. You don't even know, you don't even have a good reason for why she needed to split them up other than for the good of Mobotropolis. No, now there's no reason because you're basically saying she separated them even though their lives were happy and fun. What's more, now that you're saying that this takes place with the same continuity as Sonic 06 and Sonic Adventure, then why is Gun allowed? Why did Queen Alina allow Gun? to pop up was she just going eh other kingdom alternate evil organization killing an innocent woman eh, 
He gets to take care of himself. I've got babies to take care of. Furthermore, why didn't Queen Alina do any investigations into gun? Now that I think about it, now that you're saying that Sonic Adventure and Sonic 06 happened in, in the same continuity, then why didn't anybody do more when Robotic took over in Sonic Underground? But since Sonic did, but since Sonic Underground's future couldn't happen, then there's no reason for them to separate. And there's no reason for Robotnik to do it. But however, if, Eggman, if Robotnik did take over the world, then wouldn't Robotnik be a little more pissed and want something more than just Eggman Land Reborn? Wouldn't he just want, you know, his throne back? His ability to take over the world? And why wouldn't he have a bunch of more soldiers roboticized? And if you're trying to tell me it's because of the Bream and the world of the Sonic the Comics, well, congratulations! That just opens up a whole bunch more plot holes! By fusing these worlds together and not actually explaining anything and expecting us to believe that each and every single world here is just connected for no good reason, you just said has put in so many plot holes that it's made reading this so hard. Because I don't know what world you're trying to go for, and I don't really care. Because you're throwing in all the bad elements, too! I wouldn't mind it if you threw in some of the good elements, but I have expected Sonic to mention that he likes wearing bandages because Sonic Boom! If you want to connect these worlds, you have to give it some structure. What's more, if Sonic 06 happened, then why wasn't Queen Aaliyah more focused on trying to grab that? Heck, why wasn't Mayak more upset about this? But if Psycho 6 happened in the same world as Sonic Underground, then where does the least fit into all this? Where does the least fit into this whole entire Grand Kingdom scheme? What, does he own a small kingdom somewhere and does Queen Alina know her? Does Queen Alina know that Elise was trying to get it on with Sonic? Does Queen Alina care? But if all those are connected, then why didn't the Oracle say, you know, <sighs> you know, Queen Alina, besides worrying about Robotnik, there's this whole endless thing. You might want to take a good look at that. <sighs> and uh, yeah, you might want to keep an eye out, out for a guy named Black Doom. He's out there. And <sighs> oh, yeah, don't forget Gun, too. <laughs> You know that whole entire peace and harmony thing with the Council of Four? Yeah, it's going to be a lot harder to expect with that. You have to learn to connect these things. You have to bring them together in a cohesive narrative. Otherwise, it looks like you're just throwing everything together. And to a diehard Sonic fan like me, this is annoying. Because I'm more like, why? And I can see the seams of the quilt that you're trying to put together. And unfortunately, these seams are ratty. Because, unfortunately, you're dealing with a guy who actually cares about the continuity. And that's what I'm asking from you, Story. I'm asking from you to actually care about the continuity you are trying to establish and actually try to connect things. If you really, really wanted to put all these together, then you have a lot more effort to put into than to say... Oh, well, Sonic has his car from All-Star Racing. Well, Sonic has the x from so from Sonic X. Oh, Sonic has, has met Elisa from Sonic 06. You don't do that. You don't throw all of that into their, your little story and hope and pray that people understand it. What's, it's, of course, really determining towards me is because I want to enjoy your story. I want to like design, these ideas you're trying to throw at me. But unfortunately... I'm saying that you're trying, but you're not! You're not really trying, you're just throwing in every single thing you can and hope that's cool! Which, unfortunately, is exactly what I did when I was 13 years old. <sighs> Back to the thick. He dug to his hair and... Ugh, still a stupid plot point. And Brian's... And brought out his guitar, and everybody else brought out their instruments, and oh god, not another song, you! Alright, girls, this song is dedicated to all the adventures I had in my life. I call it Sonic Youth, which we would play it, but no, I refuse to 
insult Crust 40 with this song. So instead, I'm going to fast forward. And no, I'm not even going to get, replace this song for you because, no, this story didn't even deserve it. Meanwhile, in the kingdom of Bobotropolis, Sonia and Mag were just relaxing until their medallions started glowing. Then he heard Sonic's voice. Sis, did you hear that? I do, Mag. That must be Sonic's voice. Why are we even here? We miss you, bro. We'll always keep connected by our medallions. Wow. You miss him so much that you're not even going to try to figure out where he is or try to look for him to make sure he's okay. That, that right there... Sibling love, right there. And then out of nowhere, they proceed to pony up. Much like the other so Sonic sto story ha happened. You know, this, I'm starting to get bad flashbacks of that other Sonic story. The girl's okay? Sonic asked. Dude, you had chaos. Hedgehog ears, quills, and a tail, Sonic. Rainbow said. I mean, that's not like uh, me gaining pony ears and a tail. What is this happening anyway? The more bigger question is, when is this happening? Where is this happening within the within the freaking context of the Equestrian Girl movies and this and the whole entire show? Why does Twilight have a freaking element of magic? What? Why are they all shocked by this? Why aren't they partying up? Why are they so surprised? What is this gonna be like? One of those lame theories that we ha that I saw somebody have way back when the first Equestrian Girls movie popped up and said that for some odd reason Twilight was going to stay in the human world and give back her element of magic into the uh, world of Equestria because that theory was really stupid. Maybe it only happens when you play your birth guitar. If that's the case, then how did it happen to us? Uh, nobody's going to mention that this happens to you guys, too. Mm, nobody's going to mention that it, this is the exact same thing happened to you girls. A little continuity here. And that's when Eggman appeared. Eggman, he's the guy you been, guys been fighting? Yeah, that's him. Must be here to find the Chaos Emeralds and to kill me. Sonic, 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 Sonic. This is Eggman from Sonic, from, uh, from Sonic X. This is the Eggman who's not going to kill you. This is the Eggman who had his balls cut off. So don't worry, he's not going to kill you. You're going to be fine. I mean, Sonic, it's like facing off against the Ganon in front of the Zelda cartoon. What? Are you telling saying that I am a whip? That I am inferior compared to the Ganondorf from your beloved games? Well, you are wrong. I am, in fact, superior. I am a strong one, and what are you bringing out? Oh, the Sword of Evil's Bane. What does that do? Oh, tends to cut Ganon's in half pretty easily. Wait, we can you wield the Master Sword? I can't. Link's going to do it. What? Hi. Yeah! Pop! Now, you see, if that was Ganondorf, you would be a threat, but you're not Ganondorf, are ya? Wait! <sighs> Kirby, could you clean this up? I may have people wander in randomly into the studio, but at least I don't have plot lines. Sorry, Rainbow. But you guys can't help me this time. You've never fought Eggman before. We have. They didn't help you during the previous fight. They haven't done a dang thing during most of the story. Actually, they have done two things. Jack and shit. And Jack just left town. No, for a Sonic and Equestria <laughs> Girls crossover, the Equestria Girls have done absolutely nothing to prove themselves of use. As a matter of fact... I'm trying to figure out why are they even here, or why are you even mentioning the Equestrian Girls, if they are just going to be arm candy? Why is this fic actually got a crossover between the Equestrian Girls, and not with anybody useful? Because that's what I'm feeling like. You are doing nothing useful with this crossover! Police cars were parked below the giant egg carrier. A string of the content of this giant air vessel. Would you mind parking somewhere else? No. Please... No. Please. 
Absolutely, uh-uh. Okay, you may continue firing at us. That was when a large boulder hit Eggman's ship. Who threw that? You forget something? I don't know why I'm surprised. I came here looking for you three. Sonic began to run down the deck towards the command deck. Repetitive is repetitive. Turns the Rosa began to fire direct him. A helicopter with a live video art. And I'm just going to fast forward through here because, you know, it seems that, to me, that I'm reading a bad Sonic fic. I normally reserve reading bad Sonic fics for Fridays. Fans of Fridays, actually. And the only reason why I have not so far pushed this onto Friday and just tried to banish it from the rest of my mind so far is because I'm being nice. Because there is a very, very nice fan of mine who asked me to do this. And I like to think I'm true to my word. And I like to think that I'm actually true to my... When I say I'm going to review something, I'm going to read it all the way through. And so, I am going to sit through this and actually SIT THROUGH THIS STORY! But that don't mean I have to like it! So here's the huge psychiatric battle between Metal and Sonic, and Sonic meets up with Metal, and everybody is happy to see uh, see each other, and there's a fight, and... Oh, yeah, and Knuckles is in his human mode, as well as Amy and Tails, and I don't really care about the description, so I'm going to continue moving on. There's a huge fight with the metal robots, and it's a really lame fight, where everybody's basically handling to this pretty easily, and... Oh, well, there is a scene where Sonic struggles. I'm intimidated. Ah, uh, how many people want to bet that Sonic is going to handle it easily? Yep, there we go, and there are ARC beams, and is this going to rip off, is this going to rip off Sonic X? And then we end off with this fight scene with Rainbow Dash saying, that was so awesome. See, people, you gotta agree that this is awesome, because Rainbow said it. And then Eggman and Mel proceed to leave. Sonic and Shao pound in their fists. That was tight! Oh, something's gonna get tight around here in a few minutes. <laughs> Next time, the Doctor won't be so stupid to fight all of us once. The tornado was seen flying down with Amy and Knuckles on the wings. Silver was lying on it. Next, so... Sonic! A familiar name, oh, I said. And that's when Amy came running in. We know, we know! And that's when a and that's when Amy and so Rainbow. Oh no 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 hell no 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 no! I'm ending this chapter right now. No, Sonic and Rainbow and Amy proceed to act like school children for. Whatever the hell reason, everybody's introduced to each other, start talking toward, towards each other, start setting up pl places where everybody can stay stay with. They all start having to discuss this with one another about what Sonic's pl plans are. And Sonic starts referencing other Sonic games for no apparent reason, other than does to remind us that these things exist. Because, for, because games, games, games! So Sonic and then proceeds to have a sad, emotional moment that he has to go back to his own world after the prophecy is filled up. And then, for some odd reason, Mephless is over here talking to Eggman and then talking to 